it was a very, very moving day. Um, I, in the town I grew up in, you know, we had a large uh, Jewish neighborhood, and I can still remember when I was 16, one of the fathers of one of the girls in our school uh, came. Um, he was a prisoner in one of the labor camps, and he gave a very uh, big exposition of what it was like. And now it's 35 years later for me, and to come here and to see it, the way it's been described here and memorialized, it's obviously very, very painful. And so hopefully uh, the world, um, as many world leaders can come and see this, and so that they can know and have it burned in their hearts and in their minds never again. Never can there be this kind of atrocity, uh, this injustice to humanity, uh, this uh, lack of proactivity to prevent something like this. And so uh, for me, it was incredibly moving. Uh, it's something I'll never forget, and I can only hope I have five children um, in varying ages. I hope to bring all of them here so they can see this as well. Do you think the world, uh, you know, trying to understand uh, or take the lessons from the past? Well, I think it's difficult. We're in an age now where there's a lot of misinformation. Uh, we're in an age of social media, so there's a lot of people that are uh, using the mediums uh, in an untruthful way. And so it's very important for people to uh, fight that uh, and stand for truth and stand for justice. Uh, but I do believe, because I'm an optimist uh, by heart and I'm too short to see the glass anything other than half full, I do believe that uh, our society is a just society and ultimately a fair society. And so, um, but if we don't have a living memory of this atrocity, um, it makes it that much harder. So I'm very proud to stand here, uh, very proud to have witnessed it and heard so many of the beautiful stories of life. And so uh, we have to just continue the fight uh, to let people know what happened uh, so that it never happens again. This is the message that uh, you bring today from here to all over the world? Well, I, I think it's a universal message of justice, a universal message of freedom. Um, and I also think it's what the great nation of Israel stands for, is the protection of minorities and the protection of human rights. Uh, and also, what I found overwhelming here, in addition to the memory, is the love, the love that the Jewish people have for each other and the love that the Jewish people have for humanity, which was expressed so beautifully here.